Greetings, I'm Craig Smyzer with 1835 Realty. Welcome to the August 2023 edition of How's the Market in Steiner Ranch. Compared to the rest of the year, July looked pretty good, but the market is still meandering along. In July, 16 resale homes closed in Steiner Ranch, which was up 33% from July of 22. Last year's number was very low because of the market shock from interest rate hikes last spring. July is usually one of the busiest months with the highest number of sales, and 16 this year ranks second place so far in 23. Now, the median price decreased 16% to $1,075,000. The average price of a home decreased 19% to over $1.1 million, and the average price per square foot decreased by 17% to $308. Now, because one month of data doesn't always give us a full picture, let's look at a longer period of time. The number of resale homes sold during the first seven months of the year is 99, down 12% from the same time frame last year. The median price of a home has decreased 28% to $807,000, and the average price decreased by 19% to over $967,000. The average price per square foot decreased 16% to about $299. So let's dissect these pricing stats, and you'll notice a big 33% difference between the median price in July versus the year-to-date median price. Again, with so few sales to examine, the numbers can easily get skewed. In this case, the 16 homes that sold in July skewed heavily towards the higher-end neighborhoods in Steiner. So while statistically the median price was well over a million dollars, that's not really the median price that we're seeing in the market today. Now the year-to-date numbers, they're going to be a little more aligned with what's really happening. Now the number of available resale homes at the end of July was 43, down 32% from last July. The number of homes has been consistent over the past five months, so this drop is really more indicative of last year when the market had simply ground to a halt. Now, the number of homes put on the market in July was 26. That's down 21% from last year, continuing a, a, a trend that we have seen for several months with fewer people wanting to sell their homes. Now, I've explained why that is over the past few months, so if you're a new viewer, just check out the episodes from June or July. Now, across Steiner, the July sales ranged from a low of $583,500 to a high of $1.9 million. The average sales price to list price ratio was 98.1%, and for homes that closed in July, the average days on market was 34, up from 15 last July. And in last month, a total number of 14 homes went under contract, compared to 10 in 2022. This was the lowest number since March, and that's fairly typical of the seasonality in Steiner Ranch real estate. Now, stating the obvious, the market in Austin has been much slower over the past year compared to the prior few years. In fact, across Travis and Williamson counties, the number of resale homes that have sold so far this year is down 26%. And here's a scary number for you. 87% of the real estate agents in the Austin MLS sold two or fewer homes in the first half of this year. Yeah, that's one home every three months. This is why it's so important to understand an agent's experience. You don't learn or stay sharp on that kind of pace. Now, I currently rank in the top 1% of agents in the Austin area, so if you have any real estate related questions, please don't hesitate to call or text me at 512-650-7300 or email me at craig at realestateinaustin.com. If you're thinking of buying or selling soon, let's get that conversation started. Thanks for watching. How's the market in Steiner Ranch?